so uh, cu plugin for google chrome so once we do that so we have the first link here so this link i'll be giving in the description window you can able to use so first you can download this uh, as a zip file so once it is downloaded so open it and extract it so extract i am extracting it to the home folder so for timing i am extracting here the home folder it is extracted then close it then close it uh, cd copper uh, once you go here open the terminal cd copper there then you can see that uh, we have install.sh so run this install.sh if it is windows operating system you have to run install.bat if it is linux you have to run uh, dot slash install.sh once you do that then it will be installed okay so once it is done then uh, this this window extension window you can see that this in uh, this uh, icon here you can click it here icon and manage extensions you can click manage extensions once you do that it will be coming as a managing extension okay so you can give this way also chrome extension also you can give so now there is one mode called as developer mode always enable the developer mode so by default in your case it might be like this so better you go with the enable the developer mode so now you will have this uh, these packages you will be getting it here so load unpack pack extension like that so now here i have all other plugins i have installed so i'm going to install the uh, copper plugin now so what do i do is uh, click load unpacked and go to the uh, copper plugin what i where i have unzipped it click it first time you click the app then open then uh, retry so first then uh, load unpack extension oh sorry uh, first we need to run the terminal okay so now create one more terminal here uh, then you go to the chrome browser uh, then uh, you can click load unpacked then uh, click the app extension open it so open it the extension is loaded you can see the extension loaded then again click one more time load unpacked go back here click the extension now open it again now this time you can see here underneath you you can see so now we have uh, id here just copy this id so copy this id so once this id is copied uh, go back to the go back here extension endpoint then claim port chrome.js so double click it so at the end you can see line number somewhere around 13 or something 41 so already there is one link here delete it delete and uh, right click and paste so already we have copied there so paste it here so you can see that this is what been pasted so save it so once it is saved it then you come back here uh, then update so once it is have the extension got updated now we can able to reload the uh, browser so close it and again uh, reload the browser so you can see somewhere here copper uh, for cr that is copper for chrome so this is a plugin so sometimes you can find a plugin at the end of this also so go through the entire uh, set of extensions and then uh, you just click it so once it is clicked you can able to get the screen like this so what you can do is uh, i am just maximizing it now the command to run is localhost colon 5683 now for example let me run with the co2 so first i will run with the co2 and press enter okay so now it is i just pressed enter now you can see this is the window where i can get the co-op message logging so in the bottom most window is a co-op message logging so once i fetch it uh, first it says that uh, something content format block so something it is just showing here now you can see next time when i fetch it i am just uh, seeing co2 747 you can see here uh, co2 600 747 now next time when i fetch it 389 like this okay so this way i am just getting the output here so that means what uh, the response what i get from the server is uh, co2 carbon monoxide carbon dioxide uh, 12 and carbon dioxide 571 every time when i fetch the particular data